Hello and welcome brothers. This is another uh, sort of Warhammer related video. I know there's a lot out there at the moment and I will give you a, a knife review this weekend along with a motorcycle video. But I wanted to draw your attention to uh, this thing that I signed up to, I subscribed to, this Warhammer 40k Legends collection. I subscribed to it, I put my bank details in and everything and I to be honest, at first I just thought it was a bit of a hoax. I, d I didn't think anything would materialise. I thought it was just, they grab your bank details and run with them, basically. I, I didn't trust it, I never heard of it before. Then I looked into it and I found out that Hatchet Part Partworks, the company that do these things, um, do exist. And they do bring out these uh, monthly or uh, fortnightly magazines that have something in it. And over the course of 80 issues or, or so, you build the thing and um, I think you've been able to build a ship before and a, and a submarine obviously the only downside is you know once you bought a couple you sort of really need to buy the rest that's not the case with this you don't have to buy every single one I mean you have to buy every single one to get the collection but with these they come with a novel so you could dip, dip in and dip out I think the first episode was a couple of quid um, and then the next one was a few more quid and then eventually you'd be paying I think seven or eight pound per issue but what they come with is a full novel exactly the same as the novel that you that you'd normally buy um, from games workshop but it's in this hardback and I was actually quite impressed paper is a bit the paper is fine it's readable the inks okay too it is sort of it looks a little bit recycled paper but it's still quite it's still got a fair bit of quality and I've gone through it and it's still a pleasure to read. They look well made. They've got nice cover art. They haven't got a page keeper, which is what I was a little bit annoyed about because you're gonna have to use your bookmark. But also in the back, they've got a load of art, which is great too. So if you ever wanna break from reading, you can just flip to the back and they are the full novels. Um, this one has got a lot of <laughs> pages at the back. I don't know why why there's that many pages at the back, but there just is for this one. It's a bit odd. But this one is the 300 odd pages, which is fine. And this one is for Xenos or Xenos by Dan Abnett. I think it's part of the Eisenhorn. And this is. This is number 70, and I think there are 80. I'm not 100% sure. It might just be 70. I think this is for Eisenhorn. I'm not quite sure, but the thing is with Eisenhorn, I got all of the those three books in one big book, and I went through the whole thing. Thoroughly enjoyed it. But this gives you an opportunity to get those books separate. Now, as the collection grows, you can see there's a bit of a picture there of a Space Marine. And I've seen all of the 70 or 80 or so at... Um, books and they all make this lovely lovely looking piece of artwork when they're all um, you know connected on the shelf obviously the downside is you've only got the number at the top and you don't know what book it is that's the only downside with that it would have been nice if they just put you know the title of the book there just even in really small so you could just quickly look at it and go yep yeah, I want that book out let's read it it all seems too good to be true this is what it is, so it says <laughs> hello and welcome, yeah. So special collectible cover designs, so you've got um, issue 2, Xenos. Issue 1 was the first heretic, I think, so I got I got this one too. Uh, this one's a bit beefier actually. Uh, this one is running, running you at 412 pages, and I don't want to increase that too much. And this is the first heretic look, so you can see, and as as you can also see, um, it says Warhammer 40,000 Legends Collection, but then the ones that are part of the Horus Heresy say the Horus Heresy. But this one, which is softback, is 502 pages. So this is obviously more pages than this, but of course this is this is larger. They've obviously fit more words on the page. But I just prefer reading books in this format, hardback, 
large print. The print is lovely and the pages are nice too. I prefer reading books in this kind of format than this. Yeah, this is great for travelling, on the train, things like that. But at home, if you want to sit back, go out in the garden, balcony, by the pool on your roof, this is probably... And there now is a lion in the room. Hello. So, yeah, as I was saying, uh, yeah, this is better for, for your travelling. And this one is obviously better for your... You know, being at home and you know, mobility isn't really an issue and it'll look amazing on the shelf because uh, I think they've changed the format to the, of these anyway. I think, I'm not sure, but I think they only come out in the hardback and they're a bit larger. I think each one's like 20 odd quid now. So yeah, the books themselves, great, great products, great, great quality. But again, look, you've got some great artwork. I mean, look at that artwork, that's nice. Yeah, and obviously that, that's a classic now. There you go, look. So some lovely, lovely artwork. Rel look, even that, look. Relating to the novel itself. Excellent. So I'm really, really chuffed with these. Um, let's have a little look at this. So it says special collectible cover magazines each fortnight. And then it says compiling them all. It doesn't actually say how many there. But I've obviously got that one and one towards the end. And then you get these free gifts too. Subscribe and get the free gifts. I haven't got any free gifts yet. I don't know whether they, they're going to bring them out. It says don't miss issue two, which is Xenos, which is basically the one I've, I've got there. It's odd because it says 70 and not number two, but you get this massive art print. You get the notebook. With your first delivery, you get Warriors of Ultramar, which obviously is not in this first delivery, and so on. That all seemed too good to be true. And, I, and I've checked my bank, and I haven't been... Um, build for for these at all but the thing is it was broadcast on um, Fayette broadcast on Bell of Lost Souls it was broadcast on I think uh, DACA forums it was broadcast on quite a number of, of places and it got a lot of exposure uh, and it was only I think it was only for UK only as well Patchett Parkworks limited they they just couldn't fulfill all of the the orders and things so I'm hoping that in the not too distant future they'll bring all of this back and they've got all my details and they've got everybody's details hopefully still and then they'll they'll honor this this whole collection and things it's it's a real shame that they didn't because I'm happy with these I'm really happy happy with the the free gifts that they that they're going to send and I'd be happy to pay what they're asking for and and continue this cuz I love Warhammer 40k I always will. I think it's an incredible, rich um, universe full of many great stories. There's nothing better than than obviously looking into the, the backstory and the fluff and things like that and drawing some inspiration when you're you're making your models or you're having battles, things like that. I got this little letter in, in here and it said, uh, thank you for subscribing to the series, blah, blah, blah. The amount owing will be debited from your nominated bank account by direct debit on the 30th of June. Total amount due, zero. Okay, and then it gives you a little bit about customer care, things like that. And then it says, thank you for subscribing to 40k Legends Collection. This limited four issue run has now come to an end. So apparently there's four issues, so maybe I'm waiting for four more books. We'll be looking at the level of interest before making a decision about whether the collection will be launched nationally in the near future. Um, your account has not been charged and we are enclosing the first two books free of charge. So they might well be charging me for the next two but at least we've got the, the first two. Doesn't say anything about the, the free gifts and things like that. It's all positive in my eyes. They've had so much exposure to this. They've had so much success and they just couldn't fulfill demand. Hopefully in the not too distant future, they'll um, print a load more in Newcastle. I think it's in Tyne, they, that's where the, this is originating from. And they will build their collection and launch it. We can all benefit from it. But anyway, I just thought I'd, I'd give you this Bring, bring your attention to this because you might not have heard of it it might have been the first time you've heard of it but also this this thing that I got with it unfolds out and comes with a lovely nice massive poster of Ultramarines and Dark Eldar so I just thought I'd show you that too. anyway hope you found this interesting if you've got any questions just put it in the comments below thank you for watching The Emperor Protects